welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. It is a dark, bold, smoky eye for prom because I know it's prom season right now and I am really excited to film today because I haven't filmed in a hot minute because one week I, I did film but I really hated the footage. Then the next week I was busy with a friend's wedding and then last week I was sick with a sinus infection so I wasn't wearing any makeup at all so I'm excited to film and wear a full face of makeup today so if you like this look and want to see how I got it please keep watching. Starting off with primer I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish and I'm just using this primer because for prom you're going to be getting lots of pictures taken and a primer will also help your foundation last all night which you obviously want for prom. For foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD, again, because you're going to be getting pictures taken, and I am in the shade N128. And I'm applying this with the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. I'm also going to bring it down my neck a little bit just so everything matches. I've been using a self tanner so my face may have looked a little bit lighter than my body to begin with but you want to match your foundation to the rest of your body and not your face because your face usually tends to be lighter from washing it all the time. So just blend it down just so everything is the same color. For concealer, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and this is in the shade Neutral Medium. And I'm just going to apply it with a flat concealer brush, and then I will go in and blend it out with my damp beauty blender. And this stuff is super thick, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm also going to put some on my eyelids for a primer. And then just go ahead and blend it out. To set everything, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just going to dust that all over using a fluffy brush. And this powder is so finely milled, it's so smooth and buttery, it just makes your skin feel so good. There is a spider on my ceiling. That is not okay. Then for my under eyes, I'm going to use that same powder in a beauty blender. And I'm just going to do some baking because I'm going to be doing a dark, smoky eye. So we don't want any fallout to land under our eyes and disturb our makeup. So by baking, it will help your makeup last a little longer and you can also just brush away the fallout. I'm just going to dust a little across my lids just to set it so it's easier to blend the shadows. Okay, to start off I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and I'm going to start with the shade Combust, this kind of neutral flesh tone shade right here. And I'm just going to kind of start in the crease and just kind of blend it all over just for a 
neutral blending color for when we go in with the darker shades. Then I'm going into this customized um, Inglot palette. Um, I don't know the exact name of these colors. I will link it down below. But I'm going to mix this light taupey color with this light gray color. And using that same fluffy brush, this is a MAC 224. And I'm just going to apply that into the crease. Just a windshield wiper motions from inner corner to outer corner and kind of blend it up a little bit towards the tail of the brow just on the outer part don't blend it up like to your eyebrow at the high point then going in with a smaller fluffy brush this is a MAC 217 and I'm going to take this darker gray from the Ingla palette and I'm going to mix it with this shade password from the smoky palette and I'm just going to apply that more in the outer corner outer V of the eye just right here and you don't have to use all of these colors like you don't really need to mix the two that I'm mixing right now I am just mixing them because I have them and when you have a lot of makeup you just want to use as much as you can so don't feel like you need to have this many shades because you don't so just really working that into the outer V and crease area just kind of working it in slightly on the lid only about halfway and go back in with the bigger fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit so there's no harsh lines I'm going to take a little bit more of those first two colors and help me blend it out a little bit Okay, then I'm going to go in with a really small blending brush. This is the Morphe M507, and I'm going to take the shade Black Market from the Smoky Palette, and I'm going to really focus that in the outer V crease area. So just kind of pull it along the outer part of the lash line, kind of like if you were doing a wing liner, but don't take it all the way in. And then pull it up into the outer crease. And go back in with the 217. And just kind of lightly blend it out. And when I'm blending, I am holding it flatter when I do like the outer part of my lid but then when I go into the crease I kind of hold it like this so I don't get the black blended up too high because that's when it can start to look less like a smoky eye and more like a black eye. That's just a little tip when you're blending. The way you hold the brush kind of makes a difference. And I'm also holding it pretty far down on the handle just so I don't have too much pressure on it. I just want to kind of lightly blend it out. Then you can go back with the bigger fluffy brush and kind of blend a little more loosely. Then taking the shade Dagger and a flat shader brush, I'm just going to press that on the rest of my lid.
Okay, so then I'm just going to dust away that excess powder under my eyes. And taking that small blending brush in the first two shades I used, I'm just going to blend that all along my lower lash line. And this probably still has a little bit of that black left on it, but that's fine because we were just going to go in with that anyways. Then I'm going to take that same brush and those two darker shades that I used next and blend those out as well. And as I'm blending, I'm kind of connecting the lower lash line to that outer part of the upper shadow. Then taking a flat definer brush and that black shadow, I'm just going to press it up against my lower lash line. And then smudging it out with a pencil brush. And going back in with that small blending brush and a couple more of the first shadows and just really smoke it out. You can bring it down pretty far depending on how dramatic you want it. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Beater in the shade Neutral Brown and the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown. Okay, so while I was gone, I also went ahead and did my liner and lashes and for liner I used the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and then for mascara I used the L'Oreal Telescopic and my lashes are House of Lashes in the style iconic. So moving on I am going to put a black liner in my tight line and lower waterline and this is the Marc Jacobs. It's super inky black and it's super waterproof so I'm just going to run that on my upper and lower waterline. And as you can see, putting that liner on the lower waterline really makes it a lot more dark and dramatic. So you don't have to do this if you want it to be a little less dramatic. Going back into the Naked Smoky palette, I'm taking this first shade right here, which is called 13, and I'm just going to highlight under my brow. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm going to bronze with this MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. And I'm just going to put that everywhere that I want to be nice and bronzed. Don't forget to bring it down your neck as well. Then to contour, I'm using my Hula Bronzer from Benefit. For blush, I'm using Between the Sheets from ColourPop. It's just kind of a nice, everyday kind of blush color. It's not going to compete with the smoky eye and make it too overwhelming. It's just a nice wash of color.
Then for highlight, I'm using Champagne Pop, which is my favorite right now. I'm just going to apply that everywhere that I would normally highlight. I'm also going to apply a little bit to my inner corner. Moving on to lips, I'm lining in Sore from MAC. And just like the blush, I'm not going too crazy with the lip color. I'm using Whirl from MAC. Okay, so that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!